I'm going to tell you how to get more efficiency out of your build to recover from damage faster. And we're starting right now. Today's question comes from a Tuxus Players Club members only live stream. The question is, what's the difference between income and repairs and repair skills? Thank you guys for asking this question. It's a question that comes up often in the comment sections of my videos also because I use income and repairs on a lot of my builds and I've seen it cause a lot of confusion in the community. So I'm glad to set the record straight on this one. Here is gameplay footage from a classified build with income and repairs. There are other income and repair builds out there, but I put tuck sauce on this one and it came out glorious. If you didn't know, classified builds are secret builds made just for Texas Players Club, true and hardcore bandito member levels. If you want to tap into these, you can get access today just by hitting the join button below. The heals on this build brings your armor back to full almost instantly. This eliminates the need to build in high armor because it provides you infinite armor. It's flat out better than unbreakable armor regen and armor on kill. So that's what incoming repairs can do for you. I'm gonna show you a clear demonstration of how income and repairs works in a moment. But before I do, remember when I told you like a million times that survivability in the division two is not about armor. It's about how fast you recover. The faster you can recover, the faster you can get back into the fight at your full potential. And repair skills is one of the best ways to do that because the amount of heals per second you receive is independent of how much armor you have on your build. Income and repairs is an efficiency booster to your absorption of repairs from skills. It doesn't matter if it's your skill healing you or an ally's skill healing you. It works for hives, drones, mender seekers, healing traps, and the chems. And it's based on time. Income and repairs will improve how much repair you receive in a second. So 20% income and repairs will yield 20% more of the base repair value of the skill that's healing you. Income and repairs is one way, which means you will get more heals out of your fixture drone per second than your ally would if you were to use it to heal them. Allies do benefit from income and repairs indirectly, however. If the healer on your team has a hive, you're gonna use less ticks than you would have without income and repairs. So you use less of the hive and leave more heals for the rest of the team. Now, repair skills boost the base heals per second of your skill only. It does not boost the heals of an ally's skill healing you. Also, the base heals per second is the same whether you heal yourself or you heal an ally. If a ally is wearing income and repairs, the base heals of your skill will remain the same, but they, the ally, will absorb more heals per second and heal faster. If your ally is wearing repair skills, it will not help them heal faster from your skill or another ally's skill. Here's a demonstration. You want to see this. I have an all red build here with no repair skills attributes and no income and repairs. Now I would use the cam to heal myself. That's what the base heals gives us. Now I will add 20% income and repairs. See, we get more, but is it better to just run more repair skills? I'm swapping the income and repairs for repair skills and the results are slightly lower. See, so slight it's hard to tell, but it's a tiny bit lower. Income and repairs scales with the amount of repair skills. So we need more repair skills to see the efficiency from income and repairs. So let's do that next. Here we have four repair skill mods for a total of 80% repair skills. That's what it gives us in heals. Now I've replaced two of those repair skill mods with two income and repairs mods. So we have 40% repair skills and 40% income and repairs. And we have a full bar more of heals. That's a major improvement. I've done a lot of variations of this test and I found that you want no more than a one-to-one -one ratio. You don't want to have more income and repairs than you do repair skills, but it's okay to have more repair skills than you do income and repairs. So if the ultimate goal is to heal as fast as you take damage, income and repairs would be part of what you need to get there. This is gameplay footage of my signature and vision shield build system of protection. 
It layers protective and regenerating attributes to work in harmony so you can play out of cover and stay out of cover. It's better than a hard shield because it also protects your backside and it allows you to move faster and freely. Be sure to join me live on YouTube. I stream for Players Club members on Thursdays and open it up for the entire community on Saturdays. There's lots of good knowledge nuggets in these for you. If you miss it, head over to my channel to watch the replay. This is one of the most addictive hybrid skill builds in the game. I'm having a hard time not using it. It's precisely tuned, elegantly simple to assemble, and surprisingly strong. Tuxedo out.